Um, well, we're at the Comfort Inn Suites, and so Hunter's Glen is right behind us, and so we'll be, uh, when everybody's here about four o'clock, we're going to lead out. We're gonna go by her house, and um, we'll have students, we'll have teachers, we'll have, you know, just anybody who wants to come by and to, to just to, to welcome her home, to um, let her know that we support her and that we love her. I think our inspiration is once you're a member of South Aiken Baptist Christian Schools family, you're always a member of South Aiken Baptist Christian Schools family. So even if you retire, even if you move away, no matter what, students, teachers, you're always family. Actually, um, Jane Stevens, I'd have to give her the credit. She just, just an idea. But again, we go back to that family unit, okay? An idea was birthed. And from there, people just routed around Jane Stevens and she, she contacted, you know, the Comfort Inn and Suite. She, everything that she needed to do to make sure that it was okay for our families to join here and to start this parade. Uh, back in the early 80s, um, I came to know Diane because we moved down the road from her. And then uh, when we were moving in, she and her husband came, her family came actually. And when they came, they brought us a fresh loaf of bread, introduced themselves. So that was my first connection with Diane. And then who would know that 12 years later, that, um, or actually 12 years ago, I should say, um, we would reconnect there at South Aiken Baptist Christian School where she came to teach kindergarten. And then she did that about four years. And then she became our art teacher up until last school year. Yes, she was diagnosed with COVID-19. April 4th, she was um, admitted to the hospital, and I believe it was on April the 6th, we found out that she was being placed on the ventilator. And uh, again, three days later, she was, um, she was released from, or she was uh, come off the ventilator and um, stayed in the hospital a few more days, and then she's home. A lot of times we get focused on the negative that's going on and the crisis that's going on, and sometimes people just need a little hope and they need a little positive, something positive to let us know that, you know, even though things look bleak, things look kind of bad, we're gonna to celebrate today a young lady that, you know, we thought would be on a ventilator for a while and we didn't know the outcome and she's home today.